Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share my coming out story with you guys. It's a little bit traumatic, but as you can see, I'm sitting here doing well. <laughs> Thanks God. <laughs> Let's start with a little bit of context. I grew up in Iran, which is an Islamic country. So the majority of people were religious and not the good kind of religious. I remember my kindergarten teacher coming up to me one time and telling me I'm going to hell because I'm left-handed. <laughs> that kind of religious. Anyways, in Iran, every elementary, middle and high school is like a Mormon school, but the Islamic version. So basically everybody's forced to pray, study the Quran, which is Islam's religious text to get grades. So the religious brainwashing was really bad this plays a really big part in the story because being gay is a sin in islam just in case you didn't know oh also fii schools in iran are separated based on gender so boys and girls go to completely different schools until college in college boys and girls are allowed to go to the same university a pre-context for those of you who don't already know i actually have a twin brother and we always used to go to the same schools and we always took the same classes now let's set that aside for middle school we moved to tehran which is the capital city of my country. So the environment was really different and I wasn't used to it, but people there were less religious and that was a good thing. Fast forward to the second year of middle school, I'm finally adapted to the new environment. I'm, I've made new friends. I'm overall doing really good until this one boy that I made friends with that year started calling me gay for no reason. And I didn't even know what gay meant, so I had to go home and search it up. Now, being called gay isn't an insult, but that's something that me at this age with my current knowledge understand. Middle schooler me did not. He just felt ashamed and felt like there was something wrong with him because of the religious brainwashing. At some point, I did take the MI gay quizzes on the internet. <laughs> But I think I got like 20 to 30 percent. So I was like, okay, never mind. I'm not gay. <laughs> but one day, me who normally watched straight adult content stumbled across <laughs> gay adult content website. <laughs> Don't know how to explain the feeling, but it felt like something inside me awakened. Like I knew I liked what I saw. So I started watching gay adult content as well. And if I really liked something, I would just download it on my computer or phone so I can watch it whenever I want. <laughs> don't judge me i know you do it too mind you guys that boy i told you about is still going on about it calling me gay every single time i see him in the school playground and i'm still like no i'm not gay you're gay <laughs> I highly believe he was in the closet himself because I know for a fact that him and a bunch of other straight boys from our school would gather at one of our mutual friend's house and all masturbate together. <laughs> so one day I'm laying on the couch chilling and my brother starts yelling, Mateen, come here right now! <laughs> all the way from my room i go to my room and he's sitting in front of my pc girl as soon as i saw the screen i knew i done messed up <laughs> it was a folder full of gay adult content i was shocked and devastated because my privacy was just invaded and a part of me that i didn't want anyone to know of was just exposed he then starts running out of my room and as soon as he did i knew where he was going to my mom. So I rush to my computer, permanently delete the whole folder and clear my browser search history in under 10 seconds, y'all. <laughs> time was running out and i needed to clear the evidence so i start running after him thanks god i got to him on time i catch him we start wrestling i'm covering his mouth but he was stronger than me so he broke free and yelled mom mateen's gay <laughs> He didn't say anything about what he found cause that's a no no. My mom was shocked but I told her he's lying, he's just doing this for attention blah 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 and it worked guys. <laughs> this is literally the definition of gaslighting someone. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep your boss. After this I completely changed my computer's password cause I was not about to get caught again. Why again? Cause I was not done watching. Are you serious? Not what it looks right like. in front of my salad? You might think this would be the end of it. I wish. Literally the next day we're having an argument about something stupid in the school playground and he suddenly stops, yells out in front of everybody, including that boy that used to call me gay, that he found gay adult content on my computer. Time stopped for me in that second. I wished I could completely vanish from the face of the earth, but I brush it off and tell everybody I'm not actually gay, I was just curious. But of course, they did not buy that shit. And obviously after this, the bullying got way worse because it wasn't just one person that called me gay anymore. There were multiple, and I actually did end up getting into a physical 
altercation with one of the bullies. So normally if anyone would bully me, my brother would just go and beat them up. <laughs> but one day my brother was sick, so he didn't come to school. And that made the bully think that he can finally pick on me now. He called me the f slurs Persian version in front of the whole class and how he could beat me anytime he wanted since my brother is not here right now. Now, this is where the bully went wrong. I was a big kid. I was tall, I was huge, I played sports, so I was quick and strong. Even though I was and still am a pacifist, I was done with the bullying at that point. So I told him we can meet up after school, and I showed him who the boss is. We met up after school, he pushed me, I started swinging. I let him catch these hands. <laughs> after that, the bullying stopped. They knew I wasn't the one to play with. I don't ever condone violence, but I have to say it felt really good and satisfying. <laughs> In between all of this that happened from grade 6 until my senior year of high school, I also met my first ever girlfriend. We dated for 3 years and I think we broke up in sophomore year of high school. Fast forward, high school is now finished, I'm waiting to see which college I get accepted to. One night, me, my brother, and a really close friend of ours, which was like family to us, and his friends, all go out to have dinner at a restaurant to celebrate graduation. Everybody was talking, having fun, eating their food, and I was just minding my my own business scrolling through instagram because i was a little bit tired and then my friend suddenly asks to see my instagram feed i'm like okay here you go but do not check my gallery because i have personal stuff so i give him my phone everything's fine i'm just waiting there looking at him waiting for him to finish whatever he wants to do and then i see his jaw completely dropped i'm like what's wrong he turns my phone around it's my instagram posting area which shows your gallery and asks me Mateen, are you gay? Bestie, do you remember when I told you I would download gay content on my computer and phone? Yes, that's what he saw right in front of his salad. Guess some people don't learn from their past mistakes. <laughs> I melted through the floor. What's worse is that this happened in front of everybody else at our table and a bunch of other strangers that I didn't even know at the restaurant. I instantly pulled myself together and tried to handle the situation by denying and saying, no, I'm not gay. I'm just, I was just curious. That's why it was same bullshit. <laughs> same excuses i don't know if it worked or not because i started avoiding that group after that incident at this point of the story the religious brainwashing was completely off so i wasn't feeling ashamed i was just feeling really exposed and i didn't like it because i wasn't even sure what my sexuality was yet myself i was still getting 20 to 30 percent on the am i gay quizzes on the internet Yes, I took that quiz multiple times during my teenage years. <laughs> Anyways, so what we've gathered so far is that I haven't actually came out to anyone yet. I was just mostly outed. To be honest, I should have known better than to give people access to my personal devices and protected my privacy a little bit better, but it is a, it is what it is. I, I learned from that mistake. It's I'm never going to do it again. Fast forward, now I'm in college studying civil engineering, frustrated because every single person around me is in a committed relationship and I'm still single. I did end up dating this really gorgeous, gorgeous girl from my class, but we ended up breaking up on really bad terms. It was so bad that we started missing mutual classes just to avoid each other and at some point she even sent a guy to come beat me up <laughs> it was crazy <laughs> At the same time, I got introduced to a new friend group through my neighbor, which was also one of my best friends at that time. She was the first person I ever came out to, and after that, she also helped me slowly come out to the rest of the people in the friend group. They were all really nice, educated, and supportive, so I was really comfortable with coming out to them and had such an amazing experience. As an honorable mention, one of the boys in the friend group was also a little bit gay and had prior experience dating men, so he also helped push me into dating men. Let's call him Michael, because he will pop up and my future story times i actually already made a story time on the first guy i ever dated you can watch it through here if you haven't already it's a that it's a crazy story <laughs> long story short it didn't work out with him but the second guy i started dating actually became my first ever boyfriend <laughs> Stay tuned for his story time as well. So after this, I slowly started coming out to the rest of my friends. Everything was fine until a few things happened. One of those friends was my college classmate. We were really close. I would always pick him up on the way to college and drive him back. Our campus was really far. It was like a one hour drive from where I picked him up. Our music tastes were pretty similar. So most of the time we would just blast music on the way to college or just have long conversations. A few times I slipped in the topic of LGBTQ to test the water with him and he was really supportive so i was like okay i can come out to him so one day i decided to tell him and on the way back i told him that hey i like men the shock in his eyes 
the silence and the way he turned red so fast already broke me but when he started saying no you're just joking with me you're not actually gay kind of ruined me because it wasn't coming from a place of shock it was him being ashamed of hanging out with a gay person so yeah that was it for him and after a while i think we completely stopped talking and we're not in contact anymore in the meantime some of the other friends that i came out to started outing me to other people in their lives such as their families friends co-workers random strangers i didn't even know as the so-called gay best friend this bothered me for mainly two reasons one you're my friend how can you endanger my life so easily knowing goddamn well it's illegal to be gay in our country and it's dangerous for me and second i'm way more than just my sexuality i'm not an accessory for you to put on and act like you're an open-minded individual in a third world country when you're not Anyways, I was so afraid because my safety was getting questioned and things were getting out of hand. People in the street I didn't know already knew me and there were multiple instances where I was verbally harassed and physically attacked. I was lucky enough to be able to protect myself and remove myself from those situations but not so many people are. I did confront the friends that outed me. They played the victim and disregarded my feelings and concern for my own safety. After all of that, I actually completely shut off the outside world and went back into the closet. I stopped going out of the house. If I did, it was just to go to the gym or meet a few of my really close friends. For a long period, I was really depressed, but I finally pulled myself out of it and decided to come to Canada. I'll talk about my journey coming here in details in a future video, but I basically created my art portfolio, got a scholarship from the university I wanted in animation. Not very fun fact, my visa application got rejected two times, but I didn't give up. I finally got it after one and a half years years on the third try. Long story short, I came to Canada at the end of COVID in summer 2021. Ever since I came here, I really didn't care about coming out anymore, but I'm openly gay slash bisexual. If people ask me, I don't deny, and in some instances where I want it to be known, I'll just pop it in the conversation. As for my family, when I came here and I felt more at ease, safe, had the opportunity to grow and be independent from them, I told them that I like men, I can't tolerate homophobia, so if they're not going to accept me for who I am, I don't mind cutting them off. <laughs> which might sound a little bit harsh, but I just wanted them to know how important this is to me. My brother was shocked. He did not expect it at all, even though he caught me a few times before. What can I say? I'm a good actor. <laughs> I didn't even come out to my sister, she kinda always knew and would always ask me when are you going to get a boyfriend. <laughs> and as for my dad, I'm not out to him and I would like to keep it that way. In the end, I came on social media and expressed myself freely. <laughs> and you guys accepted me and loved me for who I am and are so protective over me. I rarely get hate comments and whenever I do, you guys are so quick to go for that person's neck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your love and support so far. Especially those of you guys who always leave me supportive messages in the comments or in the DMs. I love you so much. Coming out isn't the same for everyone. It completely depends on your situation and your surroundings. So many people have it way easier since they were already born into accepting, loving, and educated families or communities. And some people might have it way harder and go through life-threatening situations. And I know for a fact in some cases people do lose their lives. If you one of those people i have a few advices for you first advice be careful coming out if you're living in one of those countries where it's illegal to be gay or trans and be careful who you come out to your life could be endangered don't forget you don't owe anyone coming out straight people don't do it and you don't have to do it either take your time come out whenever you felt free at ease and safe try to find friends that are already a part of lgbtq community that way you'll be able to express yourself at least around them how to find these people through dating apps, social media like TikTok or Instagram. Just one thing, be careful when you're meeting online friends in person for the first time. Always exchange pictures and video call beforehand. I was catfished once and could have ended up in a really bad situation, so I don't want any of you guys to go through that. Second advice, already start your plans on how to become independent and move to another country that is accepting of the LGBTQ community. Work on your skills, grades, 
portfolio or your resume, learn that country's language, and try to get a scholarship or job offer and move abroad. It's not going to be an easy road and it might take you a little while, but I'm here to tell you that it's 100% worth it. And I'm pretty sure you can do it if you give it your best. I trust you and I believe you. You can do it. Nothing feels better than being able to express yourself freely and to be who you truly are. Some of us aren't lucky enough to be born in countries that will let us do that. And sadly enough, I don't think in some of those countries there's gonna be any change anytime soon. So that's why I'm telling you and giving you the advice of moving abroad, which I know is really hard to do, but you can do it. I wish you the best. Yeah, with that being said, that's all for today. This video was me officially coming out to you guys as gay slash bisexual and my coming out journey overall. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video and stay tuned for future videos. Love you. Bye bye.